Hello everyone, hello Xbox Nation, this is Sacramento Tits, and tonight I will show you how cheaters cheat and mod on this game. How this aimbot theater came to be, so I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to go to recent players, and there's this one gentleman who has this clip that you have to watch, Sentinels, this is him, who has luck in his emblem. You're going to scroll down to player channel, a lot of people have this, to be honest, go down to edited films, and in the middle, GSC Infection V2. And unfortunately, we have to watch this 9 million views. You gotta be kidding me. Go to theater mode, and uh, we're unfortunately gonna have to watch this whole thing. My gamer tag has hazmat suit over it, so we won't get infected. So everything is okay. So while this loads up, we unfortunately have to watch all, like, what, three or four minutes of this. We can't fast forward. So as you can see, downloading in the beginning, that means it's working. Now here he's kind of AFK because his mom told him to go to dinner and he's going like, Mom, I'm doing a tutorial for theater mode mods. I I cannot eat dinner. So I pardon this gentleman. Actually, we're all going to pardon him because we're going to fast forward through this shit. How do we know this worked? It froze. Once it freezes, we can end this thing. And we had to watch this. I know it's over 2 minutes and 36 seconds long, so end film, leave the clip. You know, we're gonna have to back out of this theater mode thing and go straight to custom games. So scroll down and go to custom games. And uh, our gamer tag needs another hazmat suit protection from the douchebaggery, so here it is. Alright, we are safe. We are safe now for a little bit. Mods have a lot of pressures that, that no modern hazmat suit can withstand, so we can't stay, stay in this douchebaggery cheating lobby for too long. We're gonna pick a class. To open the mods, hold down the left trigger and the right analog stick. It is gonna open the mod menu, like such. You can move around and look at this garbage. This is what a hacker sees. Look at this. God mode, infinite ammo. I mean, this is speed times two. I mean, look at this. Ten years ago, this game never had this. It was new, everyone was having a fun time playing legitimately. Now look at this, this is what a hacker sees in Black Ops 2 in 2022. This is sad. Wall hacks, I'm, I'm assuming this is what everyone uses in multiplayer now. I mean, this is sad. Why would you do, like whoever created this mod, look at this, auto drop shot, whoever created this mod, why would you do such a terrible, terrible thing I don't understand? Does this not make anyone cry? Because this is literally making me cry right now. Like, I have tears in my eyes right now. I, I mean, this is hard to watch. This is difficult to watch. This used to be such a fun game. I remember I played with my friends on this. Uh, everyone played this game. It had millions of people. Look at this. Teleportation mod. I, I don't understand this. This is... Look at this. This is literally an apocalypse. You can lay down dead bodies. Like... Whoever is the mastermind that created this mod, I'm impressed, but I'm also just, I'm also heartbroken. This was such a perfectly good game, and you you implemented mods that 9 million people watch now use in games that ruin everyone else's fun. Look at this. I, I, I don't understand. I, I just, why would you do such a terrible thing? This is, uh, I'm wearing the hazmat suit, but I feel the burning, like, I'm just, I'm so legitimate that I just cannot be here for too long. Dog wave, what is this? Wow, look, look at this, why would you even involve animals in this? Why would you do such a terrible thing? Why would you do this? Look, rain models, rain dogs, and now it's raining dogs, <laughs> it's what? It's raining dogs. <laughs> Whoever did this, I don't know if you were high on high on something or drunk or just you just hate the world so much you wanted to do this look at this it's raining dogs they're bouncing this is sad look at this modded weapons I don't understand a real care package gun I'm assuming I shoot care packages right yep I shoot care packages now this is what mod modders do they lay down care packages for their teammates so their teammates can enjoy that while the enemy team suffers through the insanity. Look at this. My game is probably gonna crash. These mods fortunately go away once you leave the lobby, once you leave the game and stuff, so you have to do this every time. You have to watch the game. <laughs> They're still waving. You have to watch the game every time you enter Black Ops 2 again to mod like a total douchebag, so. It slows you down, I know. But I wish Treyarch just patched this. Treyarch Activision, you spent millions of dollars on this game, and you're just gonna let 
these heartless modders, look at this. The, these modders have the power of God. Look at this, I'm, I'm, I literally have the power of God with these mods. Like that, that is, what is Earth Gun? What? Oh, Earthquake, this isn't safe. We have to, yeah, we, well, let's not ever do that again. I mean, Activision and Treyarch, you spent millions of dollars on this game and you're gonna let these modding douchebags just create these mods and let other people do this? Like, Human Centipede, really? I mean, I, I know, pick up player, I don't know what these mods are, Human Torch, I, I mean, this is a force field, I guess this just, I don't know what that is, but why would you do this? Man, like, we have the potential to bring this game back to life. What is this, Pokeball? Oh, regardless, manifestation, what is this? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is, what are you doing? What is this? Dude, what? oh my god, <laughs> this is cruel. Look, what if someone was in that room? What if someone was in that room? Suicide Lodestar, what is this? I'm gonna kill myself with it. Holy shit, this isn't safe. This is not safe. Why would you create these mods? Look at this. Would you ever see this 10 years ago? Would you ever see that 10 years ago? Um, th this is just sad. Look, AGR army, look at that. Look at that. That is sad. That just makes me want to cry right now. I, I just really want to cry. I want to cry under the Bible. I want to ask the gaming gods for forgiveness. This is what a modder does. This is what a modder sees. Box of death spawned. That doesn't sound good, okay? I guess it's a killing care baggage kind of thing. I don't know. Ice skater? Well, what is that? <laughs> Look at this. I, why, would you, why would they implement this shit? Why would you create this? What is the point of the ice skater? What is the point of any of these? I mean, I understand doing this in custom games. If you want to do this in custom games, I have no right to interfere. Have fun with it. But don't do it in public games like every other douchebag does. If I'm in a public game, I want to play legitimately. If I want to mod like a total douchebag, I'm going to go to custom games. So, seriously, like, look at this. Melee range is on. Look, I have super jump. Like, this, this is sad. This is what Black Ops 2 in 2022 is. Look at this, 10 years ago, people would be on this map quick scoping and doing the phase ballerina tricks with DSR-50 sniper rifles, and now it's this. Just these inhumane and ungodly and unholy mods that just destroy your morale. I don't understand, why would you create these mods in the first place? How bored were you? Treyarch and Activision clearly spent so much time and money and just so many hours just perfecting this game for people to enjoy. <laughs> I'm shooting swarms right now. <laughs> this is... Why would you make this thing? This this is just sad. I really want to cry right now. <laughs> that dog. Look at the dog. It's still raining dogs. <laughs> it's raining a lot of dogs. I mean, this is just so sad. It, it, this is a very, very, very sad day. A sad life for Black Ops 2 now. This, I mean, if you guys were around back then to remember how glorious Black Ops 2 was, it was the best. It was super fun. Just all these great YouTube channels came out during the Black Ops 2 days. Everything, it was just all fun. And now we have these mods. Rain Man. This is more Rain models. What? What? What is? What is? What is that? I really want to cry right now. Random boxes are raining. The ballerina is still here. What is the point of this mod? I mean, what does it do? Rain UAV. What is? Wait. Oh, <laughs> Rain UAV. It's. Wow. These belong in the sky. Back then, these were all in the sky and just. Oh, this is it's safe. <laughs> My game is gonna crash. My game is definitely gonna crash. This this is just so unholy. The gaming gods are gonna punish me by freezing my console. I yep. There it is. My game froze. My Xbox froze. It crashed. Wow. That is just unholy. I, I'm already getting sick from the douchebag radiation. My hazmat suit is failing. We gotta quit this. So the mods will disappear. Of course, we're not done. We still have to be baptized and forgiven because we were in that douchebag lobby. So bear with me, guys. We're going to get this over with really quickly. As you can see, Sacramento Love is now asking for forgiveness. Or should I say Sacramento V2 because Sacramento Love is banned now for I don't know why. And right now, I'm just in the bathtub of holy water, just begging for the gaming gods of legitimateness if that's even a word or something for forgiveness. I am literally begging for forgiveness at this point. 
I will never ever do such a dirty and douchebag thing again. Just rinse the demon out of me. Will the gaming gods answer me? Will I be answered or forgiven? Please pardon me for that circus act that was pulled off. Get the cheating, modding, douchebag demon out of me. This video was basically for Activision and Treyarch to patch this. If they truly cared about this game, they would patch it. If I worked for Treyarch and or Activision, I would totally patch this because people are destroying this game in public matches using these mods. And these people need to be banished from the legitimate gaming world. And as for Sacrament V2, please forgive me. Things are looking out right now. As you can see, the demon has been removed from Sacrament V2. But Sacrament V2 continues to beg for more forgiveness. While the demon just lays there, all paralyzed in the holy water, not being able to escape as holy water sizzles on his ugly, disgusting, douchebaggery, cheating skin. As we can see, the preacher is standing by reading the Bible, asking the gaming gods for forgiveness for this sick and unethical gameplay. Revelations chapter 3 verse Verse 20. And Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. To any man who hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and save him and his Xbox in eternity. Or something. I don't know. The holy water has eaten up the demon and the unholy spirit and the cheating, douchebaggery sins of Sacrament V2. The priest stands at the tip of the holy water asking for God to forgive Sacrament V2 for that douchebaggery gameplay. And that's all I have to say on this matter. We have been forgiven. The hazmat suit does not always work, but we've been baptized, reborn into legitimate gaming once again, even though that was on custom games. So, we do not really have to worry too much about that anymore. I have been forgiven. I have been rinsed of the cheating sin, and I am once again a legitimate and clean and beautiful gamer. And whoever plays the game legitimately is also a clean, sinless, and beautiful player as well. People who are lost in the cheating, douchebaggery ways, they may or may not be forgiven. That is not up to me, that is up to the gaming gods. And of course, the Xbox Sign Enforcement team, although we would pretty much consider the Xbox Sign Enforcement team as Satan because they say you can't do that, but then again, and they punish you for doing something that they want to do. And if you are lost in the cheating douchebaggery ways, just know that Sacrament V2 has been forgiven. And it is never ever too late to repent. So please, become a legitimate gamer. You will be forgiven, my child. You will be welcomed by the legit gaming gods of the gaming church, or Xbox, or I don't know. But that is pretty much it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I am out. Goodbye.